We then led from hikeaholics decided to hike the Tour de Mont Blanc, a scenic long distance trail around the highest mountain in Europe, the Mont Blanc. To take you around the Mont Blanc Massif through France, Italy and Switzerland. The Tour de Mont Blanc is one of the most popular trails in Europe and is 170 kilometers long. It starts in France in a town called Les Rouges, one hour from Geneva. We are hiking this trail in 11 days while sleeping in refugees along the way. With 10,000 meters of climbing plus descent, it is considered a pretty challenging trail. This is the Tour de Mont Blanc. Ah. Yay, we're at the start of the Tour de Mont Blanc. Finally starting our yeah. long trip. And it's gonna be a fun challenge, right? Yeah, true. Today is a very short day, an eight kilometer hike. It will take about three hours to Auberge de Bionassi. That's our first hut. We decided to split like the first stage into two days so we can get an easy start, have an easy day today and an easy day tomorrow. Yeah, but we're really excited for it and we can't wait to get into the mountain life again and really enjoy all the beautiful place we're gonna be in the next days. Yes, and as you can see now, the weather is very beautiful, but the forecast for this week and the week after is all over the place. There are thunderstorms predicted, snowfall on higher altitude, so we brought our uh, micro spikes just to be sure, rain gear, and there are some heat waves in between, so we don't know what to expect, but we are like prepared for everything. So we're now at the trailhead that is in Le Rouge, that's the start and the finish line of the Tour de Mont Blanc. So let's go! Let's go! Right now we're at Gol de Fosa, that's the highest point of today, that's at 1650 meters height. Yes, and it's named a Col, and a Col is like a mountain pass in French. And behind us there's a train station as well, and the train is called like the Mont Blanc Express, the Mont Blanc Railway. And it takes you all the way up to a glacier which is behind it, so it's pretty cool. It took us two hours to get here and from here it's one hour down? Yeah, one hour down to the first hut we are sleeping in tonight. Yes, that's Auberge de Bionassi. It's at 1300 meters. So little, a little hour and then we're there. Good morning. Good morning! It's day two of the Tour de Mont Blanc. Yesterday we slept at the mountain hut at Bionassi. Yes, and it was a really cozy hut. We had a little surprise during dinner because when the curtains opened next to our table, we saw a llama. <laughs> so we had dinner with a llama yesterday. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty cool. And we had a very good night. Uh, we woke up early this morning and today we have a 12 kilometer hike. Normally today you have two options, a good weather option and a bad weather option. And like you see, the weather is not that great today. So we're choosing the bad weather option, which runs through a valley. 12 kilometers and it should take about four hours to get there. Yeah, and actually it's even like the original route of the Tour de Mont Blanc. So 
Yeah, I'm yep. really excited for today and let's see how the valley looks. As you can see, we're underneath the shelter. Yeah, I think it's someone else's garage, but it suddenly started like thundering and storming and raining. And we were like, okay, we have to find a shelter right now. Yeah, because it's raining like crazy. We have one more hour to go, but luckily it's just 12 o'clock. So we have the whole day. Just wait for the storm to pass and then continue. And this lady across the street of us, she gave us tea and a chair and everything. So we can keep warm and dry right now. Oh! oh. <laughs> Oh, whoa! Oh, merci! Merci! Oh, merci! merci. <laughs> wow! Whoa, that lady is so nice, guys! Oh, uh, salut! <laughs> Cheers! Yes, we just finished stage one of the Tour de Mont Blanc trail. Yeah, like we said in the beginning, we divided this stage into two days so we can get used to the trail. Like yesterday was like an easy walk and today was quite easy as well. We took the low route like expected and we chose very wisely. Yeah, exactly, because like the rain was intense. It was literally storming. We hired in a garage or someone and we got some trail magic luckily. And at the end the sun was shining again and now we arrived at the camping. So now we're really going into the high mountains of the Mont Blanc Massif so make sure to stick around. Good morning. Good morning. Stage two of our Tour de Mont Blanc tour. Yesterday we had quite a rough day with like thunderstorms and rain and we were soaking wet. And we were hoping for a peaceful and quiet sleep, but that turned out to be a little bit different as well. The fire alarm <laughs> went off, so you can imagine how our night went. <laughs> yeah, and guys, today we're really going into the high elevation of the Tour de Mont Blanc. One of the highest points, actually. One mountain pass at 2300 meters and one at 2500 meters. And it's 1300 meters climbing from here, and it should take about five hours to get there. And at the top of our climb is the hut where we'll be staying this night. And today we are very lucky with the weather because it's only sunny all day long. So a completely different experience than yesterday. And we're really excited to do the climbing in the sun. And maybe we have some snow crossings. Yes.
We climbed a thousand meters, 300 more to go. We're almost at our first mountain pass. And if you can see correctly, we have to cross a little snow field. So we're almost there, really exciting. How do you like the snow? Oh, this is good snow. For first snow patch on the Tour de Mont Blanc, it's a really good one because it's like a flat snow patch. So yeah, I yeah. hope not many more to go, but... <laughs> Now at the top of our first mountain pass. It was a tough climb but a very rewarding climb because the scenery is very beautiful here. It's at 2300 meters and yeah it's breathtaking here. One more hour to go and then we're at our hut. We just finished stage two of the Tour de Mont Blanc. Yeah, it was a pretty long day, like long climbing, but it was a fun climb. Now we're at the mountain hut. It's a beautiful mountain hut. It's like on top of a beautiful valley. And it was a 1300 meter climb today and we just took it step by step. Pretty exhausted, but it was okay, right? Yeah, it was a pretty good hike. I really liked it. And we saw a lot of marmots during the way and the views were just amazing. So we can't wait for the next stage. Good morning, are you ready? Good morning, yeah, we are ready. I think we don't have to walk because we're gonna blown away <laughs> by the wind to yeah. our next destination. Wind is very strong today. Stage three today of the Tour de Mont Blanc tour. And we're gonna cross our highest point and that's already 200 meters from here. So very nearby. And we're gonna cross the border of France and Italy. Yeah, and we're really lucky with the weather because the weather forecast said that it will be thunderstorming and raining and all the heavy weather all day long but the uh, people at the hut told us that it's only gonna be very very windy the end destination of today is Courmayeur which is a beautiful town in Italy and to get there we have to climb 1500 meters and descend 2000 so it's a big day and we have an early start at seven o'clock now so let's go
We just had our big first descent of the day. Yes, and from here now 700 meters climbing and then we're at Col de la Seigne, which is the border of France and Italy. So a big climb, but we're looking forward to it. We made it! <laughs> We're now at 2500 meters. It's one of the highest points of the Tour de Mont Blanc. We took like an alternative route this day. It was one and a half hours shorter because we have a very big day. So our highest point was this morning and otherwise it will be in a couple of days. So one more big climb and then we're almost there. Two and a half hours from here, 500 meters up and then a little down and then we're at our hut. We're already almost 10 hours on the way, so it's a very long day, but we're still happy, going strong. It was a brutal climb, right? Yeah, it was. Ready for some food. <laughs> After a very long day of 13 hours of hiking, we finally arrived at our hut for a well-deserved rest. Buongiorno! It's our first morning in Italy. We woke up in a really, really nice hut. After a really long day yesterday, the map said that we had like 27 kilometers, but it turned out in 32 kilometers of hiking and uh, filming. But it was a really beautiful hike um, and we were lucky that it was like really long so we could hike till like 8. Yeah, the, the weather was perfect actually. They like the forecast was bad, but it was sunny all day. So we were very lucky with that. Today we have a short day, mm -hmm. first a 700 meter descent to Courmayeur, which is the first big city on the Tour de Mont Blanc in Italy, where we're gonna do a nice lunch, maybe something to drink? Probably. No, probably. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it because we can buy some fruit there in the supermarket as well and resupply on our snacks. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to the descent. Yeah, and after the descent, it's an 800 meter climb to Refugio Bertone, which is four hours from here. And that's where we're gonna stay the night as well.
Right now we're still in the woods, but we have like a next climb, which is like in an open field. So right now we're counting the thunder and the lightning, <laughs> just to be safe. 22, 23, 26, 27, 28, safe. It's going better. We made it safely to the top. We're really happy. But it's very strange. Look, look there's blue skies. And behind us, whoop. Dark grey clouds. But we're finally there. Now check into our hut and we booked a private room tonight. So chill, rest for a big day tomorrow. Hey! Hey! What you doing? Chilling. Morning. Good morning. Today we woke up at Refugio Bertone in Italy because yesterday we hiked from Comrieur to here and in Comrieur, the nice Italian city, we had a big pizza, right? Yeah, the pizza was very great. It was a short day yesterday mm -hmm. and in the end, just before we arrived, we encountered some thunder. Yeah, yeah. It was like a huge thunderstorm. Um, but luckily right before the thunder we met a mountain guide and he told us what we have to do with the thunder But luckily we already knew all the information so that was like a comforting um, Knowledge so when we arrived at the hut like the real rain and real thunder started so it was the perfect timing for us Today we have a pretty pretty long day again a little bit similar like the day not yesterday But the day before that to Kumar and today we're crossing the border of Italy and Switzerland the first part of the trail is pretty flat, like the first 13 kilometers. And in the end, we have a big mountain pass and we hope that the weather will be staying like this. Because in really good conditions, this stage promises to be one of the highlights of the Tour de Mont Blanc. So we hope that our view will be good, but well, let's see and pray to the weather gods. <laughs> Everything's clear If you choose to see Just imagine What our love could be You belong here With me It's amazing what your love can do I belong here with you So come home
Here's my heart, dear. You can keep forever if you're wondering where your home should be. You belong here with me. So come home. Well, change of plans. When we were like on the balcony walking, it was like good weather, but some dark clouds kept rolling in. And just when we arrived at the bottom, you could hear the first thunder. So we were very lucky and just in time here in the valley. Yeah, and luckily we found some shelter where we had a good cup of coffee and we were considering, reconsidering our plans. Because like our original plan was to go over and we had two other options, like two refugees, but they were all fully booked. So no option to go over. Yeah. So luckily we have a trail angel with us. My little brother is in Chamonix actually. So he's picking us up on this side and then brings us to the other side of the mountain where we have our hut. Very lucky. Thanks for saving our lives. Yeah, you're welcome. Nice, <laughs> nice. to meet you. Good Thanks, luck. bro. Good luck with the hike. Thanks. See you soon. See you. We safely arrived at our hut thanks to my brother Chris and we celebrated it with a local drink. We later heard that a lot of hikers ran into very bad weather at the top and had to hide from a big thunder and hailstorm. We knew we made the right and safe decision to not go over the pass to Switzerland. Good morning, it's our first day in Switzerland. Yeah, yesterday, unfortunately, because of the storm, we couldn't do the high mountain pass to get into Switzerland from Italy, the Ferret Pass. But today, luckily, the weather is way better. Yeah, and big shout out to Chris Dane's little brother. Thanks for saving our lives. Yeah, you're welcome. He was our trail angel yesterday. Luckily, today's weather is really good, as you can see, and we have quite an easy walk. It's considered the easiest hike of the TMB, 18 kilometers, and it's a valley walk. So it's a great introduction to Switzerland. Okay, so the weather actually is turning a little bit bad this afternoon, like we expect it to be really sunny, but uh, a lot of people are taking a bus actually. We are walking and just preparing for if it's going to turn up to be stormy. We have a rain gear and we have a GoPro ready to go, but we're just going to walk, right Alette? Yes, that's part of the game as well. You can't only walk with like good weather, so exactly. we have to prepare for it. Yeah, we're not walking on high elevations today, just in a valley. So if the weather turns bad, we find some shelter and we're all right. I 
give you some no, content. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> We're now 15 kilometers in on for a hike and so far it has been really beautiful, right? Yeah, it is. And we're now at the point where the climb will start to Champagne Lac. A little bit further than Champagne Lac is our hut. Yes, it's a climb of 500 meters. So it should take about one hour, maybe one and a half and then we're there. Yeah, and a lot of people, by the way, predicted that there will be like thunderstorms and rain in a couple of hours, which we said this morning, but it turned out to be a beautiful day actually. Yeah, and we don't see any dark clouds yet, so I think we will get to the hut without any rain on our... What? 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 <laughs> what? 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 Without any rain on our heads. When we reached the hut, we were very hungry. Luckily, this place is supposed to have the best cheese fondue of the whole region. So we had to try that, of course. Good morning. Good morning. We just woke up at Bon Abri uh, Giet, and that's a Giet in Switzerland. And yesterday we had a pretty good day. Even though everybody said that the weather would be dramatic, we only had a few raindrops in the end. And well, maybe as you can see today, we are wearing our raincoats because the weather well, could be better. <laughs> could be better, yeah. But the forecast is that it will be dry in two to three hours. And today we're heading to Trian. It's a 14 kilometer hike, so not that long. A 700 meter climb and like a descent, which is similar to that. We had a really good breakfast this morning, so we're ready to go. Yeah, and like Dane said, the breakfast was really good, but the dinner was amazing. There was cheese fondue, especially for Dane, because he really likes <laughs> it. And the spinach for me was also really, really good. So really can recommend Bon Abri. And a lot of people skipped yesterday with a bus because they said it was the least uh, prettiest route of the Tour de Mont Blanc, but we really liked it. And we met some amazing people on the road, which, which we yo-yoed along the way and had some talks with. So it was really enjoyable. 
Yeah, and officially this route has two options, like a high route and uh, the original route. Yeah, but if you take the high route, they say it has to be really, really, really good weather because there's a very steep climb and descent in the end. So today we're taking like the regular, the main route of the Tour de Mont Blanc. We made it to the highest point of the trail of today. Yeah, and this should be a really panoramic view with like lots of mountain ranges behind us. But as you can see, we're into the mystic. Yeah, <laughs> it's very misty. So we hope we can get some views today. And uh, yeah, from now on, it's only downhill to La Peuli. Petit. Petit. Le petit. Le, Le petit. petit. <laughs> it's in Trian. It is pretty 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 busy on the trail though and a lot of people but still we are enjoying it but we have to like keep up like slow down and pace up so we cannot keep our own pace but we're still enjoying the trail right yeah definitely <laughs>
even though it was a very misty start of the day, we were really lucky that the skies cleared up and we got rewarded with beautiful views in the end. Good morning! Good morning! Uh, today we started in Le Petit because yesterday... Yesterday! <laughs> yesterday we had a quite a different hike than the other days. It was a very misty. We started in Champelac and we walked all the way up to Trian. Like the beginning it was a bit yeah, challenging for us to get in the right mindset. But then at the end we met some friends along the way and they completely changed our day and we had a lovely day. And we ended up at Le Peutie. It's a beautiful campsite. Yeah, and we really loved this place because we had dinner and breakfast at the yurt. Uh, it was really cozy, super friendly stuff. Good food. So really, really recommend this place. And today we're actually crossing the border from Switzerland to France, right? Yes, it's at uh, 2200 meters, if I'm correct, at Col de la Balme. And it's an 1100 meter climb to get there. And it's actually the first time that we see the Mont Blanc again after leaving Italy. Yes, and since it's an 1100 meter climb today and the weather will be really hot in the afternoon, we got an early start, so we are on the top before it's getting like insanely hot. at the border of Switzerland and France. Yes, at an altitude of 2200 meters and we just had an amazing break. We had a lunch at Col de Balm, which was incredible. And now a 200 meter climb to Col de Possette. And from there, it's only downhill to Trail Champ, where we will be sleeping tonight. And by the way, the views are absolutely incredible. From here, we can even see the hike we did at the Mirror Lake. So definitely check that vlog out as well. Daisies blooming, sundress swaying in the breeze. I can't stop staring. You've put a spell on me, and I hope that you never decide to set me free. 
way you're moving It's got me moving my own feet Greatest feeling That I could ever dare to dream Typical hikeaholics that we are, we took the whole day to finish this beautiful stretch and we were just in time for evening dinner at the hut. Good morning! Good morning! Today we woke up in Giet Le Moulin, Wait. which means the mill. Wait, the mill? The mill, right? Yeah, yeah. it's the mill. the mill. The mill in French. And uh, we absolutely loved that Geet. The food was amazing. Good breakfast. Yeah, and we really needed the big dinner after yesterday because yesterday was an amazing day with lots of sunshine. And it was a bit longer than we expected and the GPS track set, but the views on Goldebaum were amazing. Yes, and today we have a very short hike, six kilometers to Lac Blanc, which is called the White Lake. And in October this year, we went through the lakes just a little bit beneath it, Lac Chaser, which is named the Mirror Lakes. Supposed to see a beautiful reflection of the mountain range across the valley. But when we were there in October, check the video out and find out. Today, short day to Lac Blanc. Famous stairs. The famous stairs. I always thought that it were only like three stairs because everybody only films probably the first three. But I think it are like ten, ten-ish. Ten, we're not there yet. No. So a few steps, but it's pretty cool.
this was it for the steep part. It was pretty cool, right? Yeah, I loved it. There were way more stairs than I expected, to be honest. Yeah. I think there were like 15 or so. 15, yeah, like yeah. in all the videos, we only see like one ladder or stairs, I don't know the correct name, but now there were way many. Yeah. And if you are a little bit scared of heights and afraid and find that scary, there is an alternative route to get here as well. But to be honest, I had a fear of heights and this was awesome and not scary. So I would recommend it, it's a cool trail. Oh, and by the way, in this exact same spot, on this exact same trail, we walked in last October and well, the difference couldn't be bigger. <laughs> it was fully covered in like autumn colors and there were snow patches, but both are really beautiful. Yes, and from here, it's a 15 minute walk to Lac de Chaisers, the Mirror Lakes, with, which were frozen at the time, but now they are visible. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> and we'll have some lunch there. Rainy days don't seem so wet Stormy nights don't stay From the moment that we met You were the way Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know Talk for hours and never slept Two silhouettes on the concrete steps We watched the sun as it slowly crept From the horizon to the place we met Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know After a beautiful climb we reached Lac Blanc, where we rewarded ourselves with a refreshing drink after this hot day. We spent the rest of the evening exploring the beautiful surroundings of this lake. With its location you have a panoramic view on the Mont Blanc Massif, so of course we took the time to take some nice shots here. We saw ibex and mountain goats, witnessed a stunning sunset as a storm approached and watched a thunderstorm from a distance. Good morning, it's our final day on the Tour de Mont Blanc. Yes, and this morning we woke up at Lac Blanc, as you can see right behind us. And the evening was absolutely spectacular. Like on the white side, we had an amazing sunset. It seemed like the mountains were on fire. And on the left side, there were thunderstorms. And right in front of us, there were ibex. And it was well, crazy, it really was beautiful. It was really, really beautiful. The hut though, we wouldn't recommend it. The hut was really beautiful, but the food was Really bad. Yeah, really to bad. be honest, it was yeah. really bad. And the beds were really, really small and we are really tiny Dutch people. So yeah. <laughs> you can imagine that like tall people can't fit in a bed. But we're, we were yeah. still really lucky because the scenery was beautiful. So in the end, we're very happy that we stayed there. Mm -hmm. Today, like I said, it's the final day to Les Houches, where we started as well. It's an eight kilometer hike to get there. And the weather forecast is a little bit all over the place. There is sunshine, there is rain, and there are thunderstorms predicted. But there is an alternative route, Petit Balcon Sud, 
a beautiful trail which we hiked before that runs a little bit lower so if the weather turns bad we can do that hike but today first go to Flecher which is an hour from here and we'll check the forecast from there so and the original route of the TMB goes via Prevent it's higher than La Flecher where we are going first and uh, when it's thundering the cable cars won't go from Prevent so that's not the best spot to be in and hiding when the thunderstorms come exactly. so that's why we go first to La Flecher and then just see from there So we just had a little brunch break at La Flecher, which was amazing and gave us a lot of energy. Yeah, and now we have a three hour window for going to uh, La Prasse. Yeah. So we are going to push it to there and then we'll see, see from yeah. there. far the weather has been perfect actually nice and sunny but we see some darker clouds rolling in but so far we're really enjoying it and there are a lot of escape routes so either way we're good to go today we got love that will never need to hide Take my hand and let's fly away 
to another galaxy Hold me close, I want to feel your love Together we are free Just be with me Just be with me Just be with me Hey Letta Yeah How are you feeling? Good, good again. The climb was pretty technical. There were some staircases and like it looked like a Via Ferrata part but without like the security. So it was a little bit scary and I had a little bit like wobbly knees, but we did it. And yeah, um, for the people who are a bit afraid of heights or don't like the technical climbs, there is also an easier route to Prevan. There's even a cable car to Prevan. So there are multiple options. So we're now at the top at Brevan, which is at 2500 meters, maybe a little bit more. And from here, no more climbing, no more climbing. After 12 days of climbing, 11 days or 12, I can't remember. It's only a downhill, it's a 1500 meter downhill, the longest downhill so far. And then we're at the trailhead again, at the finish line. Wow. <laughs> <sighs> well deserved. Yeah. to Les Hoosh. That's where the finish is. Finish. And so here we are at the end of our Tour de Mont Blanc adventure. A journey that took us 170 kilometers through three incredible countries. France, Italy and Switzerland. We had our ups and downs along the way, with thunder and rain being some of the low points. But the stunning mountain passes and the beautiful views we encountered more than made up for it. And of course the trail magic. <laughs> Merci. 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 Thanks for saving our lives. Yeah, you're welcome. We were challenged physically with a lot of climbing with over 10,000 meters of elevation gain. But the reward was worth it in the end. We encountered some amazing wildlife on the trail. Like marmots, ibex and mountain goats. And we met some amazing people. The snow-capped peaks of the Mont Blanc Massif were a constant reminder of the magnificence of nature and its power. The fresh air, the silence and the fastness of the mountains were a welcome escape from the hustle of our daily lives. The Tour de Mont Blanc is a test of willpower, a celebration of nature and a chance to connect with the world around us. It's a journey that will stay with you forever and we hope that you too will have the chance to experience its magic. This was the Tour de Mont Blanc. Buongiorno. It's our first morning. Luckily we found some shelter. 
so we have to be careful. Could be better. Could be better, <laughs> yeah. Not me. No, no, not me. Well, the difference couldn't be bigger. It was pretty cool, right? Yeah, I loved it. What, what, <laughs> what, what? <laughs> we would also like to take a moment to thank our first Patreon, Chris for supporting us and becoming part of the High Colleagues family.